Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. So in this playlist, we are going to learn how to mitigate some of the common errors faced while we are developing or creating pipelines in ADF. Okay, so this is the first video in this series where we will learn to cope up with the error failed to delete linked service. So let's move ahead. So sometimes we may face this error. It says failed to delete and then the linked service name. Okay. And if we click on this view details option, then it will give us the error details. And the detail says the document cannot be deleted since it is referenced by a pipeline. Okay. So it may be a pipeline or it may be a data set or any of the resource where this resource is referencing this particular linked service which we are trying to delete. So how to mitigate this error? Let's see in this video. Okay. So I'll go to my ADF. So here you can see I have lots of linked services. In total, I have 13 linked services in my ADF. Okay. So if I try to delete any of this linked service, so I would be expecting that it should be deleted and I would be able to publish my changes. Okay. So let's try to delete one of the linked service pointing to my Azure SQL database. So let's try to delete this one. So let me click on this delete option. So it is asking me, are you sure you want to delete this link service? So let's hit on this delete button. Okay. So you can see it has failed saying fail to delete this link service. And if I click on this view details, it is saying the document cannot be deleted since it is referenced by pipeline 37. So whenever this happens, you need to first delete the resource, which is referencing this particular link service else it will not be deleted. So in this case, you need to first delete this pipeline and then only you would be able to delete this link service. So let's try to do that. So let me go to the data factory and here pipeline 37, it is referencing my link service. As you can see, this stored procedure is calling my link service. So here you can see Azure SQL database three is getting referenced. So I need to delete this pipeline first. So I would click on this delete option. So you can see it has directly deleted without any errors. And now if I go here, so now the pipeline has been deleted and this link service is not referencing to any pipeline. You can see this related option. It is zero in this case. Earlier it was one and it was connected to that pipeline 37. If I would have clicked on that one, it would have given pipeline 37 as the related resource. Okay, but now it is zero. So it is not connected connected to any of the pipeline or any of the data set. So if I try, try to hit delete, we are expecting that it will delete without any error, right? So let me hit on delete. Let's see. So you can see it has failed to delete this link service again. And if we check the details, it is again saying that it is still referencing pipeline 37. So the issue here is, although we have deleted the pipeline, but it is not published yet. So let me publish this changes that we are deleting this pipeline. Okay. So we need to publish the change so that it will be reflected in the ARM template. So now all the changes are published. So now if we try to delete this link service, we are expecting that it will be deleted successfully. So let's wait. So you can see it has successfully deleted this link service. So basically by checking this related option, you can know that which link service is connected to any resource or which one is not connected. So the one which is not connected to any resource is eligible to be deleted without any error. So you can see this is not related to any of the resource, but this link service is related to one of the resource, which is this data set Azure SQL table. So this uh, link service is connected to this data set. So you need to delete this data set first, then only you would be able to delete this link service. Okay. So you can see if I try to del delete blob storage uh, link service, which is not related to any resource, it would be directly deleted. So you can see it has successfully deleted Azure blob storage link service. But if I try to delete SQL database link service, it would again give me the similar error that it is referenced by this particular resource. So you need to delete this data set first and then you would be able to delete the link service. So I hope this video will be helpful in case you also face similar kind of issue while deleting the link service. So that's it for this video. Please like the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.